everybody, it's John Reed here for BlackberryOS.com. Today I'm going to run through the new version of Twitter which is about to be released. Here it is running in an active frame. As from the previous update, you can already see you're getting your Twitter feed notifications, or, or recent tweets I should say, from your timeline appearing in the frame, which is a nice touch. Let's go into it. Now as you can see, we've got the whole new user interface available. It's all been flattened down, stretched out, and much more in line with the new look that they've been going for in the other platform apps and online as well. So the main one, the home one, is essentially your timelines, and now you have an option to not just move up and down, but also go into different feeds. The Discover tab is now in your timelines menu, and here you can see some suggestions, tweets that I might find interesting going on there. And if we just slide over again, there is an activity feed which is particularly useful as it shows you what your what you who the people who you are following are up to and what they're favoriting or retweeting so that's actually quite a nice one to do to see what's going on in the world let's just go back to our own home timeline another handy thing that was missing from a previous version of twitter if you tap the timeline buttons twice it will take you straight back to the top of the feed the next one is the notifications, which is... I don't like the word notifications, it was good when it was interactions, because it's about you interacting with other people, but they've changed that now. And that's your favourited or retweeted tweets and mentions that you might get along the way. The messages tab is now your direct messages, so you don't have to only go into the hub to see your direct Twitter messages, you can also just see them within the app. Um, through that tab there and finally here's your profile not much has changed here um, a few icon changes you've got the um, profile information at the top there and you have the option to flick between different accounts by just tapping the people icon there so that's quite handy and you can go into your settings there to edit your profile let's see the settings that's more or less the same as the previous version the image previews are more friendly now. Let's go into that and find an image there. So tap on the image and it comes straight up. And from here you can immediately share it or even save the image. Another nice feature is that if you are looking in your pictures, then you have the ability to set your Twitter picture. So let's grab a random abstract picture there. So I can tap share. And if I go and find I've pressed the wrong button. If I tap the action menu and go set as, then you can see that Twitter is an option there. I can tap on that and now I can arrange to set it as my profile image or even my profile banner. So let's change my banner for it changed. There we are. Twitter profile header updated. And now if I go back into Twitter, Go into my profile, there it is, all updated, no problems, nice and easy. Obviously you can access your settings from swiping down as well. And you can also still change the connect tab to just, they call it the connect tab here, the notifications tab to just show mentions rather than any other activity. So a very nice update, much smoother and it's good to see also you get notifications now in the hub of retweets and favourites. This is becoming a much more rounded Twitter application as what it could be. One other thing that I can show you is when you go to do a new tweet and you attach an image, you're given the opportunity to edit that image within the app. So let's find that image that I just used again. There we are. So edit. And it brings it up in the native Blackberry picture editor. So you know exactly what's going on. Apply your filters. Crop it where you think is necessary anything else you like to do and there you go it's nice and easy to get that editing from within the app rather than having to go back outside of the app open up the picture then edit it as with the previous version you've still got the option to also update your BBM status so I just say blocks because that's what they are that's it we're all done. 
So that is the new Twitter. You can check it out very soon in Blackberry World.